Hello, I'm Rod Lawton and this is a video introducing DxO Pure Raw 3. What it does, how it works and when you might want to use it. What makes Pure Raw special is that it takes all of DxO's raw processing technologies, its AI powered deep prime noise reduction and its tens of thousands of lab developed camera and lens correction profiles and uses them to turn regular raw files into linear DNG files. This is a very interesting and useful file format. As far as other programs are concerned, these are still raw files. You can still recover shadow and highlight detail, change the white balance, and carry out all the editing adjustments you would expect in raw files. The difference is that they have been pre-processed by DxO Pure Raw to produce sharper, smoother, and better corrected raw files than those that came out of the camera. For example, DxO's Deep Prime XG noise reduction is the best I've seen, including Lightroom's own enhance option. And DxO's lens corrections don't just stop at distortion, corner shading and chromatic aberration. They also apply edge sharpening tailored to each specific lens to combat the softness you tend to see towards the edges of the picture, especially with cheaper consumer lenses. So how does it work? Well, you've got a couple of key choices. You can launch Pure Raw 3 as a standalone application, as I have here, open a folder full of raw files and batch process them as new corrected linear DNG files. This is my preferred way of working. Alternatively, if you use Adobe Lightroom, you can process individual images or selections of images by sending them to DxO Pure Raw 3 from within Lightroom. They're processed by Pure Raw 3, returned to Lightroom and re-imported into your catalogue. This works even if you've already made some editing adjustment in Lightroom. Pure Raw 3 will automatically take the adjustments already applied to the original raw file and apply them to the new linear DNG file as it's imported back into your catalog. Now, while Pure Raw 3 does apply a host of different corrections, it's actually very straightforward to use. Most of the options are automatic and pre-selected and the default settings are usually fine. You can, however, disable or modify some of the corrections if you want to. Before any of this happens though, Pure Raw 3 will check that you have matching camera and lens profiles installed. It can work out what these are from the image's EXIF shooting data. If the matching profile isn't installed, it will prompt you to download it. This only takes a few moments, and you only have to do it once for each camera and lens combination. So all I have to do now is click the Process Now button. This pops up a dialog where I can choose the processing settings. I'll just run through the settings I use. First, I select the Deep Prime XD raw processing and denoising technology. I leave the lens vignetting, chromatic aberration and lens distortion settings enabled. And in the cropping options menu directly below, I select maximum rectangle. DxO's correction process can often reveal a larger image area than originally displayed by the camera. So every little helps. I want the output format set to DNG, though Pure Raw can also generate JPEG and TIFF files. And then in the destination section, I choose the option to put the processed images in a subfolder of the original image folder called DxO. That way, I know exactly where to find them. And that's about it. If you now hit the Start Processing button, Pure Raw 3 will, well, start processing. This can take a little while. It depends on the resolution of your camera and the speed of your computer. On my Mac Studio, each image takes a few seconds, but on a slower computer, it will take longer. Once the processing is complete, you can then import the new folder of images into Lightroom or use whatever software you prefer. If I check my images in Lightroom against Lightroom's own processing, the difference is pretty clear to see. Pure Raw 3's processing yields less noise, more detail, and better definition at the edges of the frame. And the higher the ISO, the bigger the difference becomes. So that's the end of this quick tour of DxO Pure Raw 3. It's a pretty simple program, so there's not really a whole lot more to know. That's it. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.